Good morning, students. I am Mafin, teacher of class three from Mahmudpur branch. Welcome you all today's online class. My dear students, I am happy to see you again, and I would like to extend my warmest wishes to you all from the beginning of my class. Students, I hope that every day you are practicing math. Isn't it? So, now I am going to start my today's lesson. And today's our topic is Structural Questions And as you know that we have started our revision class And today revision class 7 so students you know very well that structural question is not new for you i think if you practice the method of addition subtraction multiplication division properly then you can easily find out the which problem has given to you, you. isn't it yes so now students Before going to start my class, I want to show you one sheet, structural problem SW sheet. Uh, so, I uh, think all of you got this sheet, isn't it students? Yes. So, from this uh, structural problem SW sheet, today we will do problem number 2. Okay, all of you? Today we'll do problem number two. So everybody, take out your sheet in front of you, and your CW copy also there. Okay, students. Now let's start the class. <laughs> students, before going to discuss our today's lesson, I want to tell you one thing that whenever we will do the structural question then we have to keep in mind the clue word of the all the method like in addition what will be the clue word like total all together uh, like this way isn't it and subtraction what is the clue word of subtraction something uh, left reminder whenever we have to find out more or less we have to compare two things and whenever they will give you the total number and one part of the total number and one number will be the missing then that time we have to do the subtraction and same thing like multiplication and division there are some also clue word you know it very well again I am repeat it for your understanding so multiplication what will be the uh, what will be the clue word there will be multiply and they will give you one things information and we have to find out more than one uh, things you have to find out the total number each this is the clue word of multiplication and division it is very easy to keep in mind that in division what is the clue word yes students distribute share equally isn't it so if you keep in mind uh, so you can easily do the subtraction properly so now i am going to start my class Problem number two. There is the question here. Look, what is the question? Afroza's monthly income is taka uh, 9,850 taka. And monthly expenditure is 7,825 taka. I think you know already you have known about it that uh, how structural question has come in your question. You know, in structural question, they will give you the information. And you have to solve this problem by using this information. And structural question, they will ask you three questions from this information. And you know, students, that every part, like number A, has the individual number, number B, has the individual number also and number C also the individual number. 
in one structural question the total marks is 8 but in every part there will be individual number okay students okay now I will make you understand uh, what is the question first for us what is her monthly savings students you know uh, I am giving you a example like that uh, you think about your father okay so uh, for at the end of the month your father got salary from the office and you know that your father have to bear all the family expenses isn't it yes so like that here also Afroza has the monthly income what 9850 taka it is the information 9850 taka she got every month Monthly means every month. Okay. Here monthly means they have given you the information about one month. Okay. And monthly expenditure. So expenditure means you know. This word means you know. Expenditure means. Expenditure means expense. Okay. You know your father has to bear all the family expense. And at the end of the month. Your father has some money at his hand. Isn't it? And this money your father can save. So how can I got this answer? What is her monthly savings? How can I got these things? We have to do the addition here. To get the answer? No. We know whenever uh, there will be, they will give you in the question income and the expenditure. So whenever we do the what? Yes. Whenever we do the subtraction. Then we got his monthly what? Savings. Yes. The savings, there is a rule. So whenever we have to find out the savings, we have to do the subtraction. Isn't it? Yes. So students, part by part, I will make you understand. So first of all, I, work, I will work with this first question. What is her monthly saving? And before going to start writing solution, you have to think first. The what type of what problem? it is okay so i am make you understand the first part i am writing it here and another page so that we can easily uh, make you understand look the our question was there what is her monthly savings i told you before that whenever we uh, do the uh, subtraction then we got the answer so for the subtraction, I can arrange this problem like this way. First, Afroza's monthly income is taka 9850 taka. You know students, whenever we do the subtraction, you have to maintain rules also. That the greater part you have to write first. The greater part you have to write first. I am repeating again. So that's why I have written the income part is the greater part here. So I have written this part as a first line Afroza's monthly income is 9850 taka and the second part I have written her monthly expenditure is 7825 taka and as I told you before that for this problem we have to go for the subtraction because they are asking you about savings monthly savings and we know the rules when uh, the income minus expenditure we got the savings so here here portion you can show the rough work so that you can keep your uh, writing neat and clean here okay so i am showing here the rough work how can i do the subtraction night i first of all i have written here 9850 taka and 7825 taka okay now i am doing the subtraction here i have given the subtraction sign so you know i am going to do the subtraction look students you know the rules of subtraction how can you do the subtraction isn't it so look here is zero and lower part is five so we cannot do the subtraction because we know that small uh, we have to we cannot subtract smaller number from greater number okay so it is smaller so what we have to do yes what we have to do we have to borrow one ten from the tens place look here tens place is five 
So I am borrowing 110 from the tens place. That's why I have written here 10. And as I borrowed 110 from the 5, 5 will not be now 5. I cut 5 here. So I have written it will be now 4. Okay. So now I have arranged this uh, number like this way. Now I am going to start subtraction. You have to use your finger line here. 10 minus 5. What will be there? Yes, use your finger line. Yes, 5. 10 minus 5, there will be 5. And now it has become 5 become 4. 4 minus 2. What will be there? Yes, very good. 4 minus 2, 2. And look, I am going to the next part. 100 plus 8 minus 8, there will be nothing. And I am not carrying anything here. So, I am going to the 1000 place now. 9 minus 7, what will be there? Yes, very good. 2. So, I got the number here, 2025. After doing my offer, I can replace my answer in this part. So, that my copy will be neat and clean. I have written here, 2000. 25 taka. So at the last I have written the answer. Her monthly saving is taka 2025. One thing I want to tell you students that every part whenever you complete solution A after completing this part you have to write the answer. Okay students keep in mind after completing every part you have to write the answer. Clear? Okay. Now, students, we are going to start our second part of the structural question. That is question number B. So, students, you have to read out the question very attentively. Because according to the question, we have to think the what type of what problem it is. It is addition, subtraction, multiplication or we have to go for the division. Isn't it? So, that's why I am writing the question here. Again, number B, how much does she save in 6 months? How much does she save in 6 months? Students, you know from the first part we got the answer that Afroza's monthly savings was 2025 taka. Isn't it? Yes. But in that question they are asking you how much does she save in 6 months? Look. Here they have given you 6 months. So what type of what problem it is? Yes, you got it. It is what problem of what? Addition. No. It is the what problem of multiplication. Because we know the 1 month savings and now I have to find 6 month saving. So it is more than 1 we have to find out. That's why it is the what problem of multiplication. And here I have written solution B. And you know how can we save the multiplication part? I have written here in one month she saved 2025 taka and now I want to find out 6 months saving. That's why I have written in 6 months she saves and 2025 multiplied by 6 taka. And you can show the rough work here because it is a uh, big digit number. Yes, now I am showing you. Uh, the multiplication there is multiplier is here 6 that's why we have to read out 6 times table so read with me 6 5 is what yes 6 5 is 30 so 30 is 0 I have put there and 3 I am carrying so next part I am going now 6 2 is 6 2 is what students yes 12 but we don't write here 12 because I uh, have I have carrying here uh, 3 in my hand. That's why 12 plus 3 it will be 15. And from 15 I have written here 5. So again I am carrying 1. So go to the next part. 6 0 za, 6 0 za, 0. And I am carrying 1 in my hand. That's why I am not right here 0. I have written here 1. So Go to the next part again. 6 to the what? Yes. 6 to the 12. I have written the whole number here. Because there is no number 
left. So I got the answer here. 12,150 taka. I have replaced the answer here. 12,150 taka. Uh, she saves in 6 months. So at last I have written the answer. She saves 12,150 taka in 6 months. So students now. I am showing you the last part and the question number C. Look at the question first. Question now C. Read the question very attentively. Okay. If her monthly income is 10,000 taka, what will be her savings in 6 months? So students, have you read the question attentively? I hope so. So from this question, what we have find here? Look, students, this is the same question. But look, they have changed the income here. At the first, uh, Afroza's income was 9,850. But in that part, they have told you their income, her income is now 10,000 taka. Isn't it? So what we have to do? It is the same process. But we have to change uh, the number of income. Okay, look, I have written. And you know, how can we get the savings? Income minus expenditure, we got the savings part. Okay, so I have just changed the income part here. Afruja's monthly income is 10,000 taka. Her monthly expenditure is it will be the same because there is no change in expenditure only this income has changed this 10,000 taka has changed so expenditure it will be the same 7,825 taka 7,825 taka so here you know that we have to do the subtraction that's why I am giving subtraction sign. So students, if it is not possible to do the subtraction here, you can show the rough work beside this problem. Okay. So look, I have written here 10,000 minus 7,825 taka. And all of you, I know that you know the rules of subtraction. How can we do the subtraction? So students, I am showing you. Look, there is so 000, zero, zero here. So, I am starting from the first part. The first part is 0 and the below number is 5. So, we cannot do the subtraction here because upper part is smaller. 0. So, what we have to do? We have to borrow from the next part. From the tens column. But look, tens column is also 0. 100 column is also 0. 1000 column is also 0. So, what we have to do? We have to do that. We have to borrow from the 10,000 here. From here we can borrow. You have to cut so many times here. Because there are so many zeros here. So that's why I am telling you. Please listen to me attentively. From this 10,000 I have to borrow one ten from the 1,000 place. So this 1,000 place will be now what? 10. Be attentive. 10. But from this 10, if I make it 1000 plus 10, then again 100 plus need also 10. So what do you have to do? From the 10, I will take 10 from the 1000 plus. That's why what happened? Ten, this 1000 plus will become 9. And it will be become also 10. But... This tens place also need one ten. So what do we have to do? There will be lots of changes will come here. Okay. So like this way we can change our first part. And at the last look, I make you understand. So like this way, every number will less one minus one. Look. So this zero will get now. 110 from the 10 place. 
Okay, it is 10 now. So, 10 minus 5, what will be there? 5. Now, look students. The tens place was 10 first because it is borrow 110 from the 100 place. That's why it will be 10. But it also give 110 to the ones place. That's why what will be there? 9. So 9 minus 2 it will be 7. So go to the next part. It is also the same thing. It, uh, the 100 place has given 110 to the tens place. That it will be 9. Now 9 minus 8 it will be 1. So go to the next 1000 place. It has also given 10 to the 100 place. That's why it will be now uh, 9 and 9 minus 7 it will be 2. So we got the answer here 2175. So I am replacing this uh, answer in that part. So we got her monthly savings is 2175 Tata. But students we got the final answer here no we just got her monthly savings because the income part has changed here but it is not our final answer we have to find out her monthly savings in sixth month here we find out only the one month savings okay so we got the one month savings 2175 taka. Now as we got the one month savings so easily we can find out six month savings. Isn't it students? Okay. That's why the same process I have written here. It will be the what problem of what? Multiplication. Look I have written in one month she saves 2175 taka. And now I have to find out 6 months saving. In 6 months she saves 2175 taka multiply by 6. So we got the answer here. For that we can show the rough work beside that problem. 2175 multiply by 6. So after doing the multiplication then we got what? Look. 13,000. 50 taka we got. Okay students. So now students I am telling you again that in this question we cannot find uh, the 6 months savings without we know that what was her monthly savings. Again I am telling you that's why first of all we have to find out the monthly savings. Then if we got the monthly savings, then we can easily find out her 6 months savings. Clear all of you students? Now at the last, I told you before that every part has the individual answer. So this part I have written the answer here. She can save 13,050 taka in 6 months. Okay students? I think that you have understood today's structural problem. So don't afraid of structural problem because it is a combination of addition, subtraction, multiplication and it can be division also. Okay. So if you practice more then you can do easily. So now time for diary writing. Write down the diary please everybody take out your diary. Practice all structural questions at home. I hope that all of you practice structural question at home. My dear students, you know that success has no shortcut. So we have to be responsible, sincere and be creative. Okay, good luck and thank you.